reminder that Marco and Luki were used today, Ari for tomorrow, and Ruman exclusively for Sunday. Uh, you can raise your hands for questions. I see Nathan is up already. Uh, yes, thank you, Zina. Um, um, must we ask uh, Arik first, then Ron later, or just mix? Uh, we can just mix things up, Nathan, uh, for the sake of time. All right, all right, perfect. Thank you, Zina. I just going to ask one of Arik now and one later. Arik, we, we know Rassi has, has always said that he's always transparent, always honest with the players in terms of plans. I mean, just talk us through what are your plans? What are, what, what, what's the plans for you, for you yourself? I mean, there are the, the likes of Jasper Visser, um, um, Evan Ruiz, and Pepsi Butilez, and so forth. I mean, what, are you, what, what, what has Rassi said to you in terms of plans moving forward for yourself? Um, I don't know, Ethan. <laughs> No, look, I, I think we're all um, quite aligned in what the plans, the plans are. are. I, I think, think um, he's trying to, because is trying to both squad depth and he's trying to get experience into all of us. So for me, I just want to um, put my hand up, I have the opportunity and um, uh, play well for the team. Uh, mine's for Alrich. Um, just uh, regarding your performance last week, how much confidence have you taken out of that performance? And how are you going to uh, take it forward into the next game? Um, yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got, got a bit of confidence after the last week. I uh, gave my first start. I know what to expect now. Um, yeah, but I don't think it is a there's a lot more I can make and adjust and change in my game. I think I just want to just do my best, stick to stick to the game plan of the team and do what's best for the team and for me. Ashfak? Hi guys, uh, also for Arik. Uh, Arik, a couple of years back at the Bulls when, when Dwayne got there, uh, you also started playing number eight again. Um, and, and then you went back to blind side. Now you're playing number eight again for the box. Do you see the role, uh, uh, two roles as different now? Have you adjusted anything in your game, or, or are you just still playing your hard carrying game and making a big tackles and just doing what you can? Obviously, his position and his play has a role to play in a, in a team um, and a game plan. But for me, it's not uh, that much of a difference. You know, when I play eight, eight or seven, or seven um, I enjoy getting the ball into my hands and getting into contact. Uh, so that will always be part of my game. Mike, Mike, Mike. Um, question for Elric. Uh, looking at the Wallabies, um, historically they they're a team that normally are quite good with tactics, and now they they approach the game. Um, obviously, they they didn't do too well last week. Just what are you guys expecting from them? What kind of a reaction from from the Wallabies? I think they're going to come back. Um, Better than they were uh, last week, obviously. I think they're going to fix a few things, uh, sharpen up on, on the areas of the game. Um, but that's, that's expected. So we're always, always ready for that. And um, we're also training and preparing the best we can, um, not to be caught out by, by any tactics or angles or plans. Mike? Um, Elrich, just looking at uh, the 8, 9, 10 axis, is, 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 there's not a huge amount of caps there, but you guys are quite young, exciting players. But just with your in terms of, of Mornay, um, have you ever played any rugby with him? Um, how do you see that, see that sort of relationship going um, on, on Saturday? Uh, yeah, well, I think you, you play a bit together in the Portugal game. Um, we haven't had a lot of matches or match time on eight and nine with each other, but uh, I think we're really confident. Uh, the way we train this week uh, will give us uh, the right experience and confidence when we go into the weekend. 